I recently released my Inside the Mind toolkit, which is available on Patreon and here on YouTube through a membership. And I wanted to go over the remaining four tools that are in this first release, as I've already gone over the Modify Normals tool. So I'll go over the last four here, and I've already got them set up. I'm gonna go ahead and jump inside this geometry node. And the first one is the backdrop node. So this just is a ready-made backdrop for your scenes. And it's got a bunch of different settings here so we can control the amount of subdivisions as well as normal transform type things, as well as the bend length and origin of this bend. So we can fully customize the, the way this ramp looks. We also can switch it over to a box backdrop if we would like. And again, we have controls for this as well, for different transform settings as well as subdivision. And then as you see, we already have the capsule in here. So this is a new capsule primitive. Um, you have your different primitives inside Houdini. So your sphere, your tube, all of those. You're kind of missing the capsule. So got different settings here, obviously. You got the radius so we can control on each axis. I also have the end cap radius, so we can control that. We can squish it down and make it essentially a tube. Um, another feature that we have, if I just go ahead and adjust our middle divisions here, we can adjust the middle of our capsule here with a spline, which is not something that really makes a lot of sense when it's called a capsule primitive, but uh, something that's not super difficult to add in here and you can make some interesting shapes with this as well. So I figured I would just keep that in there. And then the last tool that we have here is the displace along normal tool. So this basically just does what it says. You can displace your geometry along the normals that you have set up. So you could use this in combination with the modify normals node if you would like. This works for any geometry, whether it be a capsule or if I wanted to do just a simple line here. Go ahead and add that in. Increase the length and the points. And we will need some normals for this, so we'll do modify normals and we'll just do uh, normals pointing away. As you can see, actually, let's, let's do uh, let's actually set the normals, I lied, so that we don't have them just displacing upwards. And if I just alt and drag this along, you can see that we now have this along our line. And then again, we have controls for the orientation of this displacement. So let's set the direction to the x-axis, and then we can come along to our modify normals, let's change this to be up in the y direction. And then we can set this along the x axis. And you can see that it is now going to displace them along the x axis. Now you may think that's a little bit counterintuitive because they're going up in the y axis, but that is because um, the normals are pointing up in the y axis. So it's affecting along the x-axis. So it's automatically going to determine how long your object is or how big your object is and fit the ramp to the geometry size. So some pretty interesting things here. You can do a lot of cool things with the displace along normal as well as these other tools. Um, just some simple tools to help you speed up your, your workflows inside of Houdini, especially this backdrop and uh, I do have this better cam. That's the last one that I forgot we're going to go over here. Let's go ahead and jump back in here and just uh, disconnect that. And this better cam, we have basically all of our camera constraints and it's all redshift enabled. And then we have some extra constraints in here. So we have a path and a look at constraint. So if I set up our path constraint to this spiral that I already have created, you can see that we are now locked to this spiral or not. Let's see what's going on here. There we go. Cause I had the look at constraint 
enabled. I'm not sure why that was kind of bugging out, but I'll have to look into that. But if I select this position now, you can see, and it looks like that's bugging that out if you don't have an object and you have it enabled. So if you just move this along the position, you can see that it's moving along the object. And if we enable this look at constraint and we actually do give it an object, which we'll just do this null here, you can see it's now going to look at wherever we have this null. So if I go ahead and move this around, you can see that it's going to move our camera. And if I wanted to drag it all the way over here, you can see that it rotates around. So just some increased control along your cameras that you may or may not need. Uh, just speeds up your workflow just a little bit and it gives you some more controls. But a lot of cool tools in this. I'm going to be adding more to this. Like I said, this is a first release of the tool set. So I'm going to be adding more as time goes on. Uh, I just got to make them and come up with them. So stay tuned for more of those um, and stay tuned for stuff that's coming because I got a lot of interesting things planned here. Um, check out Patreon if you're interested. I'm going to be uploading a bunch more stuff to that here in the future as well as the membership. It'll all be available through that as well. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check that out. But anyways, hopefully this helped you out and you guys enjoy these tools. Thank you for your support and have a good day.